Welcome to Philosophy. Today's story is about a young fox and a wise owl. Let's begin. In the heart of the enchanted forest, nestled between towering trees and shimmering streams, lived a wise old owl named Orin. With feathers as silver as moonlight, and eyes that held the star's ancient wisdom, Orin was known throughout the land as the Sage of Clarity. One day, a young fox named Finley ventured into the forest, seeking answers to the questions that tugged at his heart. Finley the young fox had dreams as vast as the sky, but his untrained mind was often clouded with doubt and distraction. His thoughts raced like the river rapids, never settling long enough to grasp the shimmering fish of insight that swam beneath the surface. As Finley the fox approached Orin's tree, the owl looked down with eyes that seemed to pierce his very soul. Greetings, young traveler, little fox. Orin hooted, his voice resonating with the tranquility of ancient winds. What brings you to my abode? Dear wise old owl, I have asked all around, and I was told to come here, to this old tree, to you. I seek wisdom. Finley the fox replied, his voice tinged with both hope and uncertainty. I feel like I have been lost most of my life. Maybe my entire life. I cannot finish what I start. I have so many dreams. So many things I want to achieve. But I am stuck chasing my own tail. I yearn to improve my thinking, to find mindfulness, and to learn how to better my life and achieve my goals. Orin the owl blinked slowly, his gaze unyielding yet gentle. Ah, wisdom is a treasure found not in the rush of the wind, but in the stillness of the pond. It is the art of seeing beyond the surface, of understanding the currents that shape the waters of your life. Finley the fox listened intently, as Orin the owl shared a tale that had been passed down for generations, a fable about the three pillars of clarity. Fox! Listen, in a land not unlike our own, Orin the wise owl began. There lived three creatures, Swift the rabbit, Hannah the squirrel, and Elias the hawk. Each desired to reach the pinnacle of the enchanted mountain, where their greatest wishes would be granted. What was their great wish? Probably the same as yours. Yet, their paths were fraught with challenges. Orin the Owl stopped for just a moment to let Finley the Fox truly gather his mind so the little fox could pay deep attention and be ready to learn. The first pillar, young one, is mindfulness. Orin the Owl continued, his voice like a gentle breeze. Swift the rabbit, eager to conquer the mountain quickly, dashed along the trail without pause. He chased after every fluttering leaf and fleeing shadow. Swift the rabbit ran too fast, and was too easily distracted, never truly seeing the beauty around him, nor catching the lessons each moment held. Swift the rabbit, let important moments, and profound lessons slip by, without even knowing. Orin the owl paused, and let Finley the fox think, and understand this part of the story. The second pillar is wisdom. Orin the owl said his big eyes gleaming with wisdom. Henna the squirrel, observant and smart, watched the world with keen eyes. She learned from the forest's rhythms, the dance of seasons, and the patience of the ancient stones. Yet, she hesitated to take action, fearing missteps and what-ifs and could-have-beens and should-have-beens that became stumbling blocks and obstacles. Waiting too long to make decisions, became what clouded her path. Orin the Owl stopped. Orin looked at Finley the Fox. Their eyes met. Orin continued his teaching to this new student of his. The third pillar is purpose. Orin the Owl concluded, his voice carrying the weight of ages. Elias the Hawk, with eyes fixed on the sky, soared above the canopy. His goal was clear, his determination unyielding. Yet, he sometimes missed the beauty at his wings' reach, and Elias the hawk flew high, 
and almost blind to the ground, and Elias the hawk often forgot his purpose while enjoying the power of his wings. Without watching the ground, the sky was empty, and Elias the hawk would get lost. Elias the hawk dismissed the guidance of the earth below. The earth was his map. The empty sky was just that. Empty. His dream was in the sky. Somewhere, but where? His ultimate desire was to reach to the pinnacle of the enchanted mountain. But the real map was on the ground. Finley the young fox contemplated the tale, the metaphors woven like a tapestry before him. Wise Owl, tell me the answer. I still need help, but I am beginning to understand. But how do I embrace these pillars? Finley the fox asked, as a spark of understanding started igniting within his eyes. Orin the owl nodded approvingly. Mindfulness is the art of being present, of savoring each moment without distraction. Wisdom blossoms when you learn from every encounter, and when you seek lessons even in challenges. And purpose is the beacon that guides your journey, the North Star that aligns your actions with your dreams. But once you have gathered all of that knowledge, you must make clear decisions in order to advance down the road of life. Orin stared deep into Finley, hoping to reach him as directly as possible. Remember, young one, little fox. Orin's voice carried a depth that touched Finley's soul. Just as the river's current shapes the stone, your thoughts shape your reality. Embrace the pillars, weave them into the fabric of your being, and you shall find the path to clarity. But then, make your decisions and move forward. Do not chase your tail forever. Do not daydream for an eternity. Do not wait too long. Decide. And move. With gratitude shining in his eyes, Finley the fox thanked Orin the owl and began his journey back through the enchanted forest. As Finley the fox walked, he marveled at the dance of sunlight on leaves and listened to the melodies of birds with newfound awareness and embraced each step as a step closer to his dreams. And so, dear traveler, as the sun sets on our tail, remember the wisdom of Orin the owl's fable. Embrace mindfulness, seek wisdom in every corner of existence, and let your purpose be the wind beneath your wings. For in the heart of life's labyrinth, where dreams and reality converge, lies the key to unlocking the treasures of the universe. Thank you for listening. If you liked my story, please think about subscribing to my channel. Set forth with purpose and love, my friend, and return soon for more philosophy lessons.